This is the menu for breakfast. Bread, 50 gram, marmalade, 20, raisin, 15, banana, 100, sesame seeds, 8, soy flour, 10, orange juice, 100, sunflower seed, kernels, 5, oyster, 5, Grapefruits, 120. Carrot, 50. Pumpkin, 50. Milk, 100. Yogurt, 90. Broccoli, 50. Fish, salmon pink, 15 grams intake. This line uh, is my necessary intake per day. Necessary intake a day. About energy, this is the lower limit of my necessary intake per day. 2000. This is the upper limit of my necessary intake per day. 2200. Protein from 60 to 80. Lipid total 45 to 60. And so on. About pink background, more than ten percent of lower limit because lower limit is seven hundred. And so more than seventy and uh, more than seventy the background would be pink. This means milk yogurt contains much calcium and then there are two ex ex exceptions. Uh, cholesterol and sodium has not don't have lower limit and so in the case of cholesterol and sodium I use upper limit This is the upper limit of sodium. More than 354 the background would be pink. This numerical value comes from my necessary intake per day of NACL equivalent. This value comes from NACL equivalent necessary intake per day. In order to compare 
USDA data with Japanese data. Upper limit of sodium was calculated by the following equation. Upper limit of sodium is equal to upper limit of NaCl equivalent divided by 2.54 9 gram 9000 gram of NaCl equivalent is my necessary intake per day and so this value comes from my necessary intake per day of NACL equivalent mineral Vitamin uh, about this folic acid. This is the summation of this number. Uh, this value, numerical value, is my necessary intake per day of folic acid plus food fluorate and so in order to compare USDA data with Japanese data folic acid was calculated by the following equation folic acid is equal to folic acid plus food flow rate uh, about vitamin A same situation this numerical value is my necessary intake per day of vitamin A and so in order to compare USDA data with Japanese data Vitamin A was calculated by the following equation. Vitamin A is equal to retinol plus carrot divided by 12. Again, this numerical value is my necessary intake per day of vitamin A. Vitamin A is retinol plus carrot. Vitamin and cholesterol has no lower limit and so more than 75 the background would be pink Vertical access breakfast intake divided by necessary intake my necessary intake per day 
about this group I use upper limit because too much energy protein lipid are not good for our body so this line is the upper limit for breakfast and so 100 this line is the upper limit of my necessary intake per day So, I have to try to not exceed 100% a day. About this group, fiber, mineral, vitamin, This line is the lower limit of necessary intake for breakfast. And 100% line this line is the lower limit of my necessary intake per day. And so, I have to try to take more than 100% per day. Every nutrient is more than 33.3 and so the menu for breakfast would be good. About this group, fatty acid saturated is a little bit more than this line and so the menu for breakfast is almost good and I have to take care not to exceed, exceed 100% per day. Now, I'm going to check the total of breakfast intake about every, about nutrient which has the upper limit. So, I will check the total of breakfast intake doesn't exceed the upper limit. Well, energy 731, okay. Protein 26, okay. Lipid total, okay. Oh, 18, okay. Carbon hydride. One, two, six, okay.
calcium 474 okay iron 6 okay phosphorus 573 okay sodium okay zinc 8 okay copper 1.16 okay magnesse 1.39 okay vitamin C 121 okay niacin 11.7 okay vitamin B6 1.44 okay folic acid plus food folate 218 okay retinol plus kelp 781 okay vitamin E 3.85 okay vitamin D 2.85 one five okay vitamin K six six point eight okay fatty acid saturated six okay cholesterol three seven okay This menu for breakfast is good because uh, no nutrient doesn't exceed the upper limit of necessary intake per day.